uh, nickname in the past from me was the helicopter. Right, okay. As you see, Pingxiu has a little bit of a different stroke from some of the other backstroke swimmers. It's a lot faster, it's a lot shorter, and it kind of looks like a helicopter. <laughs> okay, I, I can get that one. I get that one. We'll have to mention that again uh, tomorrow if she's swimming. Don't worry about that. In now for the men's 50 metre backstroke final. Again, there wasn't a heat this morning because there are only eight athletes. So in lane eight, Parkan Chanam is the man that will be in lane eight. Gwen Manfu, we've already seen him in the breaststroke and the freestyle so far. Uzbekistan's Ortikov Bakayoyan is going to be in number seven. He looks very, very happy. Vietnam's Harvan Hip is another very happy man to be here. Moving on to lane six, Chao Khan Kuestri. We've seen him already as well in action. Lane two, representing Vietnam, Ha Ba He. A little bit of confusion. At <laughs> and that's not just us, that's them as well, because you can see he's already out. <laughs> Ha Ban Yep is out. Lane three is coming now. Siazbek Daliev is the man that's going to start to come out. 40.64, that's a very, very fast time from Daliev from Kazakhstan, who will be looking to stamp his authority on this one. There's a couple of uh, do not starts in this event which is why I think everybody's getting a little bit confused here. Again, it can happen. We have seen it when athletes just get a niggle or a, or a twinge and they don't want to risk injury or any problems. Or it could be that they reported potentially late to the call room. So for those at home, you have to report to the call room by a certain time and you will not be allowed in even if you are half a minute late. It a should be second half a second. Yeah. yeah, correct. And if you do want to compete, you have to pay a fine to be able to let in, to be let in. We've had a couple of that this morning. Uh, my sources tell me. <laughs> okay. Ah, you, see, you asked about my sources yesterday. I'm going to ask you about your sources a little bit later on. <laughs> no, but it's, it's going to be interesting to see. And you are right. And again... We can't legislate and we can't explain that reasoning because obviously we're sitting here in a commentary position and we're not downstairs. If we were there, we'd be able to let you know and bring you up to speed. But we just saw a few moments ago, Igo Tanaka in lane number five. I think he has already come out. There he is. So in lane number four is Kaida Hinata. So that's going to be the quota. So it looks as though we are going to have... Lane one occupied, lane two will be free, will it? It's, that's lane two there. Well, we'll soon find out when they go to starters orders. It's very, very difficult when we're looking the, the wrong way up the track because obviously this is a 50 meter backstroke race. Most of the swimmers in this event are S5s. Just one S3 and a couple of S4s. Okay, we're just missing one, and that is Ortikov in lane seven, so he will be out. As you mentioned, S4s, S5s, the only S3 we saw earlier as well is Charkorn Kawazri, the Thai swimmer. Just waiting for that whistle to be able to get into position. It's another long hold, isn't it? Oh, they've been told to stand down and please relax. So they're not happy with something. The official starters are not happy. 
something just slightly amiss and askew there so the whistle goes again for everyone to be prepared Lane 8 seems to be a bit of an issue Pakan Chan Lam and again called to relax so that this is frustrating for the swimmers because they're all set to go and you can imagine the adrenaline that's going and pumping through their bodies and been told to stand down not once but twice and that's after being held for a good five six seconds especially when you're holding on to, to a, a towel you a towel know try to start i think it's very important that's why to figure all these technical starts out before the race well, there seems to be an issue here with Parkan Chanlam. Now, it doesn't look as though it's completely his fault. Has the thing been put on backwards? Are they removing it? No, they're removing it. OK. So now he's going to have to go from there instead. Interesting to see what your sources think about that one a I bit will later. check back tomorrow. <laughs> Well, there's the whistle, which just calls everyone back to order, so all the athletes will get ready. The towels will be there for some of them, and as you can see, they are all poised to go. Take your marks. Wow. Tanaka and Hinata, look at that. Trying to make the most of being underwater there. They really elevated and lunged themselves off that start using that towel in the mouth technique and they are the ones that are setting the pace here it is Hinata that's just basically ahead ahead of Tanaka and I do mean literally half ahead now because Tanaka is pushing all the way again it's all about points but those two are nip and tuck Hinata is going to get the touch first yes he does second is Tanaka the question is, is can Karesri make inroads? Clock's ticking down, it looks as though that one's gone. But over in lane number six, Charcorn Karesri was pushing, pushing, just couldn't do enough. It does look as though it's going to be a Japan 1 2, though. On the near side, Parkan Chanlam didn't have much luck with that, with the device to be able to help to start being taken away from him which means Vietnam at the top Gwen Manfu will take sixth and in seventh will be Park and Chanlam that can be very unnerving you've got to feel a little bit there for Park and Chanlam let's just give the plaudits to the winners though Kaida Hinata obviously takes the win there a real solid performance from him and Diego Tanaka but watch the start look at them both in the middle brilliant almost like dolphin dives very very much so i think you can see just how good they are, they are and it is backed up by the current world rankings they are both top eight in the world right now in this event no surprise there but just how surprising and how disappointing is that for park and chanlam it's very very difficult because you you've been told you like to have a certain way to do things and then you're told literally you can't do that there must, have been a, there must have been a technical issue somewhere. Must have been. I think it must have been something, a miscommunication somewhere, perhaps. 